in this class i am going to explain about uh, electrical circuit analysis electrical circuit analysis using laplace transforms laplace transforms so this is the concept that i am going to explain in this session so uh, this analysis is also called as frequency domain analysis frequency domain analysis so to analyze this electrical circuits we can use either time domain analysis or frequency domain analysis in unit number 2 we discussed about the time domain analysis now i will explain the frequency domain analysis to analyze this electrical circuits okay now see there are some drawbacks in time domain analysis those drawbacks are uh, this time domain analysis is suitable for the systems which are categorized which are uh, uh, characterized by the differential first order differential equations so this time domain analysis is suitable only for the first order differential equations okay as the order of the system increases now it is uh, very difficult to analyze these systems uh, uh, using this uh, time domain analysis so here we are going for this frequency domain analysis even if the order increases this frequency domain analysis will be easier to analyze next thing here is the main advantages of this frequency domain analysis are this laplace transform approach to analyze this electrical circuit analysis here are first one is the initial conditions are automatically incorporated in this uh, laplace transform approach or frequency domain analysis initial conditions initial conditions are automatically incorporated automatically incorporated in this frequency domain analysis that is the first advantage second one is the complete solution complete solution we can get within a step that is complete solution means both complementary function and particular integral we can get these two things within a step with in a step so these are the main advantages of this uh, laplace transform approach or frequency domain analysis to analyze this electrical circuits and uh, these laplace transforms or frequency domain analysis can also be applied if the excitations are excitations means there is a circuit resistance inductance like this which was controlled by this switch normally we are discussing about the dc voltage sources if this excitations this is nothing but the excitation if this excitation may be a continuous function or periodic function or a step function whatever the function may be we can deal this or we can analyze this electrical circuits using this laplace transform approach or frequency domain analysis next so let me define this laplace transforms here so laplace transform laplace transforms here in this laplace transforms the definition here is laplace transform of a function f of t is equal to here it is minus infinity to infinity f of t e power minus st dt this is called as bilateral bilateral 
Laplace transforms. Bilateral Laplace transforms. If it is, if I take, I can also define this Laplace transforms like this. It is from 0 to infinity f of t e power minus st dt. It is called as unilateral, unilateral Laplace transforms. So, it is bilateral Laplace transforms, unilateral Laplace transforms. To analyze these electrical circuits, it is, it is enough to take this unilateral Laplace transforms. Okay. Here, this S is nothing but S is equal to sigma plus j omega, where sigma is the real frequency and omega is imaginary frequency, imaginary frequency. Okay. Here, this function f of t must follow the following function, following thing to possess this Laplace transform. That means, this function has to follow the things that is f of t sigma 0 to sorry integral 0 to infinity modulus of f of t e power minus sigma t. So, if you calculate this one, it should be less than infinity. If it satisfies, if this function satisfies this thing, then this f of t or this function, we can apply this Laplace transform for this function. Now, let me define this inverse Laplace transform here. Inverse Laplace transforms, inverse Laplace transform. If you take inverse Laplace transform for this, uh, what will happen here is, so normally it is represented as L inverse of, so if you take this Laplace transform for the function f of t, then I can write as f of s. So, Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s. So, we need to take the inverse Laplace transform for this f of s. It is time domain and it is s domain or frequency domain. Inverse Laplace transform of f of s is equal to it is f of t. And this can be written as I can define this one as 1 by 2 pi i or 1 by 2 pi r 2 pi j integral sigma minus j infinity to sigma plus j infinity f of s e power s t d t. So, this is the formula for finding the inverse Laplace transform for a function f of s. Now, let me explain the Laplace transforms for some of the functions. Laplace transforms for some functions. So, if I apply the Laplace transform for constant k, so it is constant k. So, if I apply the Laplace transform for constant k, so it is equal to this normally k by s and the proof for it Laplace transform of k is equal to integral 0 to infinity k into. So, this is the function here e power minus s t t t. So, k is constant it is not a function of time I can take it out from this integration. So, k into integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t d t. So, it is k into, so if I integrate this e power minus x or it is e power minus a x, e power minus a x divided by minus a is the integration for this e power minus a x. So, e power minus s t divided by minus s and the limits are from 0 to infinity and substitute here, uh, take this minus sign here minus k divided by s. So, it is, uh, if I substitute this infinity in this place of t, it is e power minus infinity. If I substitute 0 in this t, it is e power 0. 
So e power minus infinity, the value of this e power minus infinity is 0 and the value of this e power 0 is 1 here. So finally, what we got here is k by s. So the Laplace transform for the function k here is k by s. Next, another function, another thing here is Laplace transform for a function t power n. Laplace transform for a function t power n. So, Laplace transform of t power n that is equal to the formula for this one is n factorial divided by s power n plus 1. So, this is the formula for this uh, function t power n. So, let me uh, define, let me derive the this equation here. Laplace transform of t power n is equal to integral 0 to infinity t power n e power minus st dt. Here is uh, t power n into e power minus st dt. So, here uh, let us consider put st is equal to some x here. Here st is equal to x. So, if it is this value if uh, t is equal to 0 this limit if t is equal to 0 what is the value of x here x is equal to 0. If t is equal to infinity then the value of x is equal to infinity that means the limits are same here. So, let me write here this is Laplace transform of t power n is equal to so, the limits 0 to infinity same limits instead of t I am writing x by s here. So, it is x by s whole power n whole power n e power minus in place of x s t it is x e power minus x in place of dx. Here if I differentiate this one s into dt is equal to dx. So, dt is equal to dx by s. Now, in place of dt I am writing this dx by s here dx by s. So, now this is equal to, so s is uh, constant I can take it out from this integration. So, it is s power n here it is s. So, finally I got it is s power n plus 1 and integration 0 to infinity x power n e power minus x dx. This is the formula for gamma of n plus 1. So, gamma of n plus 1 this is the formula of gamma of n plus 1 is equal to integral 0 to infinity x power n e power minus x dx and the gamma of n plus 1 is normally written as n factorial. So, it is uh, n factorial divided by this total function value is n factorial divided by this s power n plus 1. So, this is the Laplace transform for uh, t power n function.